Okay, so we're going to start off just drawing a straight line at the bottom, about four or five centimetres long. Okay, what we need to do now is set our compass to the same length as that line. So by putting both points of the compass on that line, you'll have your compass set the same length. Put your point of the compass on one end and draw an arc like that, about a quarter of a circle. That'll be enough. Once you finish that, you turn the compass around and put the point at the other end. And you do the same thing, you draw another arc going up. What we're doing there is drawing a line or a distance, which is the same distance here as it is to that point there and also from that point. Where the two lines cross will be the top corner or the vertice of your triangle. So we're going to take our ruler again and our pencil and we're going to draw a line from the bottom of that up to the point. And we're going to take our pen to the other side, pencil, and draw a line straight up to the top there. And what we have there is a triangle that has three equal sides. If we tried doing that with just a ruler, we'd end up with one of the sides being a wrong length, okay, because they wouldn't join up properly. But using a compass, we pinpoint exactly where the two lines should cross. Okay, so that's the start for a equilateral triangle. Okay, so you draw a line at the bottom, now it can be a different size line this time. You can do this again. How many centimetres is it? Different size line, Luke. Okay. Okay, so then we need to take our compass and we set it to the same length. Your compass will always go that far because you're only doing a certain length. Draw a quarter of a circle, called an arc, swap it over, look from the other side. So where they cross, we're going to draw a line from the bottom left to the corner. And the same from the right. And there we have an equilateral triangle. Okay, so to turn our triangle into a rhombus, we are going to put our compass at the same length of a triangle that we've already done, and then we're just going to do the same thing going down this time. So we draw an arc down there, and an arc the other side, and so we get another point at the bottom. With that other point, we are going to draw another line. There we have two triangles joined together, which gives us our rhombus. Make the point now that we don't ever rub out these lines, because we need those for our marks and exams, if we ever get to do this. All right. So just leave those lines in there. Although they look, might look a bit messy, they show us exactly how we produce the triangle, which shows that we've done it accurately. Okay. So we'll have a go at doing that now. <laughs> 